Hey everyone, welcome back. So today, I'm going to be doing a rebuttal to a video from China Fact Chasers, which is a channel that was established to monetize for a second time videos that were already monetized. The title of the video is China's Worst Alcohol Just Got a Whole Lot Worse. This is going to be a fun one. In this episode, Cy Bernzier and Lao Lai's guy prove just how little they know about China. Please bear with me for just a couple of minutes while I allow them both to plant their feet firmly in their mouths. Simo, could you explain China's best known alcohol? Baijiu. And uh, can I, you explain a little bit about how it tastes and whatnot? That it tastes kind of like how puke smells. Yeah. Does that makes sense? Yeah. However, they do have overpriced Baijiu, and one of the most famous ones, which is considered a luxury brand, is called Mao Tai. It still tastes like shit. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. But it's very expensive. But it's very expensive. And, so, and like, you might think we're like talking down and exaggerating. No, we've had but lots listen, of Baijiu. Here's the thing uh, we both used to drink a lot, mm -hmm. we still drink, not as much. So, the most important feature of this is that you can't mix it with stuff. This is not mm -hmm. like vodka or whiskey where you have like a whiskey sour or a vodka tonic or something like yeah. this. If you mix Baijiu with anything, the taste just gets a little diluted, but then somehow becomes more vomit like. You know <laughs> yes, what I mean? Yes. We, we, we wanted to know what it really tastes like <laughs> you never will some uh real chinese people decided to film themselves tasting it so like not some... just the foreign white monkey shield no it's not it's not all that hoo-ha so here we have two <laughs> <laughs> two um you know a middle-aged guy and his father i yeah. guess are trying it out for the Let's first have an time honest reaction <laughs> 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 I'm pretty sure that's what my reaction would be to Me be too. Honest. I feel these guys. Yeah. These guys are being honest, you know. <laughs> this is an honest reaction. Imagine okay? say, yeah, yeah, like grandpa, try this out. And he's like, yeah. sure. Yeah, exactly. It was like, try oh. this. You like Baijo, right? Try this Baijo coffee. <laughs> but yeah, uh, look at this nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's obviously hideously disgusting. Oh, I love this guy almost puking in. You know? <laughs> I love their honest reaction. Yeah, but honestly though, like you will never be able to take away this very honest reaction. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's got to taste so shit. Oh Wait, my you, god! You know it yeah. tastes what they look like right yes. now. You yes. know that cringe that they're having. It's not difficult to figure out what these two brands are trying to achieve. What you have here is a fusion of two brands, the first one being Lucking Coffee, which has grown to over 9,000 stores here in China, larger than Starbucks, which actually has 6,000 today, but it appeals mainly to the youth. The second brand is Kuechao Mao Tai. It's an icon of China, the second largest spirits company in the world. Not China, the world. But it appeals mainly to the older folks. Now, what demographic do you think these two guys fit into? Actually, you know, some people in the West may find it difficult to believe, but those guys may never have had a coffee in their entire lives. As a matter of fact, I'd be willing to bet that the older of the two has never had a coffee. Sideburns the and Lao Lai's guy always claim that they are China experts, even though they haven't stepped foot in China for five or six years. All they do is look for stuff on the internet and try to fit it to a narrative always based on China bad. The narrative this time is that the Baijo ruined the coffee. You may have noticed that they did not include the audio from the clip, maybe because the one guy says, you ruined the alcohol. I also noticed that they entirely cut off the end of the video where the guy gets up and says, I need to go and check my alcohol. I think you wasted my alcohol. Neither of those things fit their narrative. I found the video from the same source where they found it. I'll play it for you now. <laughs> we will always do our best to bring you the truth. And yeah. based on our experience. Slash and facts. <laughs> we, yeah, and of course we'll bring facts, yeah. but we will never ever uh, lie to you or try to force some kind of a weird narrative on you. Nope. 